Hey there, this is my uh, carry that I had today on me. I chucked it on the coffee table before when I was putting my gym shorts on. And I um, thought it looked like a cool assortment of stuff, so I thought I'd do a bit of a video on it. It's been a while. I like watching these videos. I assume you do as well, because you clicked on it. I think the title was fairly obvious, so sit back and enjoy. And there goes my cat. Jeez, she's at that time of night where I think all cats get it. It's like witching hour where they all just go absolutely nuts for no real reason. Something calls to them from their primal origins, perhaps. And yeah, they just tear around the house and take him to fluff. She's doing that now. She's all wide-eyed and crazy. Yeah, let's just digress and have a bit of a look at her. Oh, in she goes. I think I'm going to go in here. Not much in there for you, cat. And off she goes. Yeah. Day in the life of a cat. Hilarious and pointless. So, I'll start with my phone. It's an iPhone 5C. Blue. Nice plastic back, which I like. Some people complain this felt cheap. I think it feels durable. Especially when you see those new phones bending. I don't think I'd want a phone any thinner than this either. Um, not to shun new technology, but I think they had it just about right with this. I like the rounded edges, it's very comfortable. Um, I like that there's only one, one bit of glass that can crack. And that bit of glass I have protected with a plexiglass cover, which is really cool. It's, um, yeah, it's a thin sheet of tempered glass that maintains the tactile touchscreen function. Observe my cool background that I made myself. I'm awesome. Uh, that's the kind of person I am. Let them in the background on the phone. I do love my kids, but uh, sometimes people I don't really like check my phone and I don't want them to know things about me. At any rate, it's a good phone. It's fast enough. does all the things I need to do. I don't think too hard about my phone. Uh, I don't really care that much. I just want it to work. And this one certainly does. It hasn't screwed up on me once. I don't mind the new adapter either. It's quite good. Less fluff gets in it. Some of these huge, wide phone ports just get full of um, lint. Uh, my wallet is a Maxpedition micro wallet. Very simple. Carry the cash in the back. On the few occasions I have actual money cash. Thousand Denya nylon. You can sit on it. You kind of know it's there, but barely. It's good. Uh, my keys. Uh, just a standard set of keys today with a sliver gripper, and that is it. Uh, I usually carry the Leatherman. Uh, sorry, not the Leatherman. The Victorinox um, Swiss Light, but the battery's flat, so. While I'm doing that, I've had to make do with another option. Uh, the flashlight or torch is the Prion P1 by 4.7s. Very nice, simple little torch um, pocket clip, which is okay still. Mine's okay. You see some of these fail pretty bad. Uh, but I think they get snagged on things and really bend out of shape. Someone makes titanium ones, which are apparently are quite strong. Uh, this is just good. Three, three brightness settings. It's got also a few different program modes you can get by squeezing the, I, f I think by squeezing the, <laughs> the torch. I'm not sure, I haven't worked it out yet. Um, some of them I just never use. I don't, I don't think torches need strobe and all that sort of thing, especially the little pocket ones like this. Um, perhaps if you were a bigger, more survival oriented torch, but an EDC torch just needs to go on or off if you ask me. On or off, 90 to 120 lumens. All you need in an EDC torch, plenty. The Leatherman Micro is fulfilling my keychain tool role. It's been sitting in my coin pocket. Um, I was using that really cool ultra light setup for a while of um, Gerber LST Leatherman Squirt PS4 and what was it? Ah, the uh, Prion. But I've just changed it up again. Back to the Micro as well. Sort of sitting in my drawer for ages. A little pair of scissors is always handy. These are better scissors than the little ones you get on the Squirt. You do use scissors a bit more on your mini multi-tools, especially when you also carry a full-sized, so I thought it made sense. Um, the Micro, uh, you've probably all seen a million Micro videos. Got an assortment of tools. Some of them I use, some of them I do not. The ones I use are the little eyeglass screwdriver on the end of the bottle opener. Sometimes I use the Phillips. I use the scissors a whole bunch, and the nail cleaner a fair bit. Don't use a knife, never use the flathead. Although it would probably make a good scraper but for scraping tiny things. <laughs> Get the label off of Barbies. 
little oven in our dream house. But yeah, quite happy with my Leatherman Micro. It's a bit of a staple in everyone's multi-tool collection, I think. Everyone gets a Micro at some point. Usually you get it free with some other multi-tool. I got mine with my rebar. I've got a few actually. Um, that one I got, I think, this actual one I got from one of those TSA eBay auctions where um, they seized some poor guys like, you know, things that he thought was okay to get on a plane with and it's not. So they took his Micro and his uh, Victorian it's classics. I've got a few of those classics around as well. So, sorry man, but it's found a good home. Uh, the folding pocket knife, I do like to have a locking knife for some more heavy duty stuff. Like say if you just need to just cut um, cut crappy things like, um, say when you get a kid's figure figurine type toy these days, and they've got a million of those, those little um, uh, twisty tie things tying to the box. You need a nice big locking knife just to get under there. Uh, and if it's got a good edge, you just push the edge up against it and kind of just flick up and it busts them right open. It's great. But yeah, it's good to have a locking blade. And this is a really good, really cheap locking blade. This is the Sandrim U710. It has a liner lock that engages very well. Apparently, this is the same company that makes for Spyderco the Persistence line or their Tenacious or Ambitious. Those lines of. Um, budget Spyderco knives in China and Sandrum you do have quite a good reputation amongst all the cheap knife makers and this is sort of their flagship knife it's a bit of a rip of the Chris Reeve Sabenza in shape and design um, it's a bit heavier obviously because it's a stainless steel handle and 8CR13MOV uh, steel which is a bit like the um, a very similar to 440, uh, 440B or 420HC so if you just your standard utility stainless steel, takes a good edge, dulls fairly quickly, but not super quickly. People think you're going to cut three bits of paper and the knife will be blunt, but this one probably still shave hairs, um, and I haven't sharpened it in a fair while. Very good little knife, um, just can't argue with that price. Just another bit of a day in the life of the cat here. Yep, get a bit, get a, get that thing that's in there that she's imagined. It's an empty bag. Sorry for the digression. I find it fascinating watching just she all of a sudden just started being like this. She was sitting around really quietly all day, and then all of a sudden it's just idiot o'clock, and off she goes. Cool. Leather man, <laughs> leather man, multi tool. I, I'm like the vacuum cleaners, how people call vacuum cleaners hoovers. I, I still call every multi tool a leatherman, I suck, but I'm gonna have to start getting used to that because I'm diversifying my brands. This is a SOG pocket power plier and I've been really enjoying carrying it but for the main reason that as with all these tools you like to say you're super handyman utility fix everything you might get this I might get this out once a once every couple of days to use the pliers on something that probably you know 50% of the time actually needed it. This is the gadget factor it's something to play with it's like carrying a little book to read with you when you're bored, you just get your multi-tool out and you play with it and you know you try not to flash around too much, but it's just good, good thing to have on you. A bit of a toy or a gadget. But so that's why I'm really enjoying this one, because these are so smooth. It is a really good set of pliers. It's probably one of the better plier heads I've seen. Super narrow needle point, full contact, right up until probably you know four fifths of the way down. Good nailing for the nuts. Hard and soft wire cutters, well not that any wire is soft, and compound leverage so they really grab on because these gears lock in and there's two points where the, you know, so the plier base is attached to these two rivets and then these two points here are the gears being attached on this disc shaped piece of metal. Very cool. It's got some tools in it, most of them I don't really use. I've used the punch 
to make a new belt hole the other day. That was really handy. Good punch that is too. And I've used I've used a knife for a couple of things, and I've used the Phillips. It's quite a good Phillips. Um, quite long for this class of multi tool. This is this would be your um, medium sized or light you know light to medium. So the class underneath you've got these. This is with the Gerber MP400 Leatherman Juice, perhaps skeletal. Then you've got to go up to the Wave class, which is like Wave, Victorinox, Swiss Tool X, and Gerber MP600, perhaps, Leatherman Rebar. And then you get your, your Heavy Duties, which is your Surge and your Swiss Tool and your um, uh, Super Tool 300. And perhaps your Power Lock or Power um, power Assist from SOG. Anyway, so it's in that sort of third, third down the chain line. So the tools are fine for something like that. They don't lock, which again is fine. Most of them don't lock. Um, this doesn't lock the juice, kind of like the staple one that everyone likes, um, juice CS4, so that's not a locking knife either. Quite a good multi-tool, I do really enjoy carrying this one, and you, I've used it a little bit, but uh, it sits in, my, sits in my back pocket, underneath my wallet, just like that. The gears don't really poke me too much, I'm not fussed by them. Uh, I like the lanyard loop out. I might put a lanyard on there if I'm to make, perhaps migrate it to sit next to my phone, but I don't know. We'll have to see how that goes. I don't make such huge decisions lightly. I'm just kidding. I love the ruler on this as well. It's a really sort of well done ruler. And just the general fit and finish and gloss on the tool. It's a little bit uneven. Um, and sort of, you know, you can straighten it up a little bit. It does have that slight touch of, um, just as these tools get smaller, they get a little bit less, um, a little bit dinkier, and it's got that slight dinkiness. Um, not where it counts though, the pliers, which I think is where it counts, are still very robust feeling, very fun to open. So those are the things that I carried today, and I thought they were quite nice. Um, just a good setup, covers most of the basics. Probably could do with a handkerchief, um, didn't have one today. The world didn't end because of that, so yeah, might add that from time to time. And I'm just cycling through my multi-tools. I'll be doing a bit of a comparison with the uh, SOG, this Gerber MP400, and this Leatherman Juice CS4. Uh, sometime in the future, once I've got a bit of a better handle on this and this. No, this is like the back of my hand. And I've got a few opinions on this already, so it'll be an interesting little setup. I don't know which, I really haven't made up my mind which I'm going to like more. Shit, these might really piss me off and I'll end up singing the Juice's praises. Uh, unlikely, but you never know. Really don't know. Yeah, that'll be in the next few weeks. Until then, I'm sure I'll have some other things to tide you over with. My loyal 122 subscribers. Good on you all. Um, if you liked this video, uh, hit like. Uh, it's the best way. Uh, I'm getting a, get a few likes. That's okay, but you, know, you don't really want to like beg. I'm really, certainly not looking to monetize my channel. I reckon I make about three cents a year. But um, yeah, it's just nice to know that people are actually watching and people are enjoying it or whatever. Um, share your own stuff, share your own experiences in the comments or um, yeah, just better yet, go down my list and watch some of my other reviews. Um, I more or less do this just because I like to play with my gadgets and I've got two kids so I don't really get out as much as I like to. So um, yeah, I sort of do like to just get them all out and do some tests and you know, I'm sort of preparing all this stuff I get is preparation for that day, one day when my kids are both at school and it's like 11 o'clock in the morning and I'm like, man, I could just go for a walk right now. I could, I could go hiking. And I could go hiking and you know, all the stuff that you single people probably just can go and do. And if you don't, you should because one day you'll have kids and then it's like five to seven years, depending on how many you have, when you're home all day with one of them. <laughs> and and yeah, you just can't go and do that stuff anymore. It's fantastic, but you do miss it. So all this stuff, I'm just preparing for the day. I'm ref refining my skills in an armchair setting to go out and kick arse. Anyway, that's about all I've got to say so far. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again. Bye now.